A day after the official release of macOS 13 Ventura that I covered with a bunch of new features and changes, today Apple has released another batch of beta updates and among those we have macOS 13.1 the first beta now at the time i'm recording this video this is only available to developer beta testers and to public beta testers within the next two days and for me you can see that the update size came in at exactly 1.47 gigabytes and this was the unpacked update size but the unpacked size increased to 2.32 gigs now i was updating from mac os ventura the official release and since i've already updated my mac if we go into our new system settings that used to be called system preferences and go to general and go to where it says software update you'll be able to see that yes i'm up to date and we can also see the new build number that we have so it's 22c5033e this build number has an e at the end and in terms of stability this is not one that you'd want to rush for now before we look at some of the new features and changes that are here, I want to show you some of the other releases that Apple releases released today. The operating systems, we have iOS 16.2 beta, iPadOS 16.2, we also have macOS 13.1 and watchOS 9.2 beta and the last one is tvOS uh, 16.2 the first beta most of these updates i do cover here on the channel at half men half tech so if that's something that interests you and you want to keep up to date with this operating system to subscribe so that you won't miss out when these operating systems come out and you get to know what your mac can do with the latest updates now let's look at some of the new features and changes the first one that i want to show you here if you go to your launch pad and you look at your application you will actually see that there's a new application that has been added and this one was first announced at the worldwide developers conference this year and it's called freeform you can see here when you open it up for the first time it has a new splash screen that tells you what's new and it welcomes you to freeform it gets it says get creative sketch out projects design and j basically just brainstorm build your board and collaborate with others now this new freeform app is basically one that looks like canvas and it's an app that allows collaboration between many devices and people in real time you can use it with your mac and your ipad you can use it with your iphone and your ipad and finally it's here when you click continue you can see that you can start to add to your board insert sticky notes shapes photos links and many more and you you can also use this and share the board and you be able to allow you to sign into your icloud so that you can begin sharing what you are working on with your icloud friends or if you do share a link with your link that you would have shared to those person unfortunately with mac os 13.1 this first beta live captions is still in beta and it's something that i was looking forward to testing out so you can see if you go into your accessibility settings and then go to live captions you can see yes you can still enable this for facetime and for other applications but yes you see that it still says it's in beta and i haven't been successful in using live captions in facetime even though this is something i went into my settings and set on so do test it out and let me know please in the comment section below if this works so you can see a type of type of idea that we have a slight update on mac os 13.1 this beta sort of adds this border here that will be able maybe to have the, those live captions once it comes out officially and is enabled so maybe during these beta stages as we continue to test this is something that's going to be added fully to the mac november is going to be sort of a beta testing month and hopefully as we go about our betas live captions will be something that will soon be able to get out of beta and when mac os 13.1 comes off out officially 
this is something that we can all use fully the home app too has been updated so when you open up the home app and you are using a different device you'll be able to see that now the home app has a new architecture support for different devices to allow support for this and you can see how the different subsections that we have look like if you're using ipad or if you're using ios this is something that you'll be able to see in more detail now also i noticed that with this update after updating to mac os 13.1 most of my background items were being re-added so for some reason the system sort of took it as a new os and began reconfiguring and adding the background items such as vpn and those that do need to refresh in the background just a minor change that i thought i should point out now also with this update if you use the iWorks and the pro works or pro apps from apple i'll be happy to let you know that there's been a lot of updates for those applications so if you go to the apple app store and you open it up you'll be able to see a bunch of applications have been updated so for example you can see numbers was updated today and if you want to see the version you can always click and you see the version is 12.2 for numbers and not only that you can see pages was updated and keynotes these three are the iWorks and then the pro apps too were updated you can see motion was updated today compressor final cut pro 2 was updated and since this i use it i use it quite at all you can see the version is 10.6.5 and also you can see that imovie for the regular video editors this was also updated so a lot of updates today now when you open up the news app and you continue on the first prompt you'll be able to see that here it introduces my spots in apple news and this for some reason has always been there but it's coming up as a new pop-up screen and also when you go into your launch pad and open up reminders you can see that reminders has a new splash screen that's here that tells you what's new in reminders and i went through them it doesn't see like much has changed now those seems to be some of the minor changes that i hear with this mac os 13.1 um, I do have to mention that when it comes to some of the issues that I hear, initially when it comes to the settings app that we have before, you couldn't really resize it even the height, but you can see at least here you have the ability to be able to resize this uh, up and down, but you can't really resize it dynamically like you can do most of the other functions or applications. For example, you see how Safari, I can resize it freely in any direction that i want so it's not yet there fully for the settings app but at least it's allowing us to be able to do that on some devices previously this was something that wasn't there now when it comes to mac os 13.1 it's basically just a bug fix update performance improvements and security enhancements too we are going to get to know more of those security enhancements when this update comes out fully there are some issues though with this since it's a beta and the first one has to do with the apple tv app that you see here so within this apple tv app play tracing like up next top shelf update won't work on all platforms and also there's an issue with this new application the freeform app where sometimes collaborators might not be able to make changes or see how you are going about your work and also iCloud synchronization sometimes may be out of sync when you do share to your iCloud and also when it comes to the bluetooth app i do have quite a number of people that requested I t that i tested bluetooth subsections within the settings app just to see how it looks so yes it seems like even with mac os 13.1 at this time we don't have the advanced section like for example if you go to your networks or your wi-fi you still have the advanced section but in bluetooth this is something that has been removed now since i just updated to this i can't really tell how performance is right out of the box but this is something that i'm going to be testing fully and when it comes to when we can sort of expect this update i can give you an update so you can see that today being october 25th the whole month of november is going to be a beta testing month and then 
somewhat when it comes to the official release of macOS 13.1. We can expect this update somewhere on the week of the 12th. That's just a rough estimation and prediction for me. And other than that, if you like this video, do leave a like and stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.